Word on the street was that Spencer here was worried about whether or not I was going to have a speech. <laughs> Little did he know, I prepared in a thousand word epic poem titled The Rise of the Secular Clan. So brace yourselves. Thomas, I might need some Viking chants on cue, all right? All right. No, I didn't actually do that. I wish I could, but... Hello, everybody. My name is Sean. I've known Spencer since at least seventh grade. To start things off, I'd just like to extend my thanks to everybody who came together to make this beautiful event happen so that we could all be here. We can clap, that's fine. <laughs> so that we could all be here and uh, celebrate Spencer and Alicia's love for each other. So my thanks go out to the Miller family and the Securus family. Definitely an honor to be here. So I think the best way to describe Spencer Miller, and most of you can probably agree with me on this, whether you know him really well or maybe you met him once or twice, the genuine sweetheart of a guy. He's got a very kind and positive demeanor that when he walks into a room, you instantly feel better about yourself. I think the best way to describe his personality is refreshing, honestly. He's got a refreshing way about him. Alongside that, though, that's not his only character trait. Alongside that, I'll say two things. One, he's definitely the most hardworking person I know. Every time he's got a break, he, whether he's not at school or working one job, he's working another job, doing all sorts of stuff, from moving furniture to picking apples, you name it. And the second thing, probably most importantly, he's definitely the most, for lack of a better word, badass person I know. This man has many great outdoor feats that he's accomplished in his life, some which I've been fortunate enough to be a part of, whether it's going up the pictured rocks or down to Texas. Anytime you're in one of these outdoor scenarios with Spencer, you always know you're gonna be in good hands. This is the kind of guy who will casually roll up to the Manistee National Forest by himself in the dead of winter and sleep in the snow. I'm serious, it's crazy. There's been other times he's been with our good friend Luke Beal, who unfortunately couldn't make it tonight. And they've sampled the wild game. Like squirrels and porcupines and stuff, I'm serious. It's crazy. Um, and uh, I know for sure that if the apocalypse were to happen tomorrow, I'm definitely going straight to his apartment. I admire this man and his great outdoor feats. Over the years, I've gotten to know Alicia as well. We've watched them grow in their relationship together. Um, and she's always been very kind to me. Definitely a fun and funny person to be around. She loves to tell it how it is, and I respect that. <laughs> and uh, when you're with them together, it's kind of hard to describe, but when you're with them together, you can kind of witness this balance between them, this kind of sense of understanding that they have, this rhythm they have with each other that it's truly beautiful and inspirational. And uh, I'm excited to see how that love grows for them together in the future. So Spencer, I'm super stoked and excited to see where life takes you as you take this next step in marriage and you embark off to Utah. Same with you, Alicia. I'm really excited to see the ways in which the two of you are gonna grow as individuals in your personal lives and in your professional lives most importantly, I'm excited to see how you both are going to grow together as husband and wife. And if there's anybody out there who claims that they're not a small dog person, believe me, I thought I was too, I was there. I challenge you, spend one afternoon with Spencer and Alicia and their beloved, beautiful Chihuahua Aries. And your life will be changed forever. Number one dog in my life. And I honestly doubt that she would be as sweet of a dog as she is if she didn't have these two for parents. So toast, the bride and groom. Thank you for being here tonight. Celebrate uh, Spencer and Alicia's very special day. Those of you who don't know me, my name is Kelsey, and I'm the maid of honor. And this beautiful bride right here is my best friend. 
I met Alicia six years ago. She had just moved to Grand Rapids and I had just graduated high school. It was definitely fate that brought us together because I'll admit it, I'm not the very best at making new friends. And, but that didn't stop Alicia. And even though I played a little hard to get at first, <laughs> we quickly became inseparable. I even stopped living at my own apartment to take up semi-permanent residence in her room. <laughs> uh, she couldn't get rid of me. Uh, she tried. She'd come home after her graveyard shift and find me already asleep in her bed with her dog, her two cats, and even her rabbit. <laughs> um, we all know how much Alicia loves the animals. No stray is safe from her open heart, and that definitely included me. <laughs> Now, when you're that close to someone, you gather a lot of hilariously embarrassing stories. I, however, will spare Alicia from telling them in front of you all, but uh, catch me later and I'll give you all the details. <laughs> uh, Alicia Spencer, I love you both very much. Alicia, not only for being my, one of my best friends, but also for being there for me. When being my friend didn't just involve having fun, trying to suntan ourselves on your roof, which never worked out, we just got burned, or having makeshift cocktail parties, and I say parties, but it would just be the two of us. <laughs> um, we've grown so much together from our super awkward single years, and I'm so grateful that we never grew too far apart. You've always had my back, no matter what we're up against. And Spencer, I love you too. Uh, we've been friends since our incredibly dorky freshman year of high school, when we spent all our time watching old Star Trek reruns in your basement, and running around the neighborhood with a group we dubbed the Extraordinarily Daring League of Gentlemen, plus me. Jack and Sean were in that too, so throwback. <laughs> Guys, I think there's nothing better than having two of your very best friends meet and then falling in love. You're the perfect match for Alicia Spencer. Where she's more cautious, you're more adventurous, pulling her out of her comfort zone and making the two of you the very best versions of yourselves that you can be. It's inspiring to look at how truly committed you are to one another and how happy you make her. I couldn't think of a better man for my best friend. I know I can speak for everyone when I say you'll be greatly missed once you move to Utah. But don't worry, I'll come visit. And we can have another one of our old school sleepovers, just you, me, the dog, the cat, the other two cats, and whatever other animals Spencer's let you keep by then. <laughs> Alicia, I wish you the best on your newest adventure and your marriage. May your love be modern enough to survive the times and old fashioned enough to survive forever. If everyone would now raise their glasses and join me in toasting the beautiful variety room. Congratulations. I love you both. Spencer and Alicia.